dancers! Welcome to the fourth episode of my Pore Flow series. In the last video, I showed you how your head and your upper body naturally stay connected when you're dancing. I touched on the idea of your head being an extension of your movement and following that movement. Today, I'm going to show you how to initiate movements with your head and create smooth transitions with it on the pole. I'll break down the combo that you saw at the beginning of this video so that you can practice it by yourself, at home or at your pole dance studio. The concept of relaxing your whole body and letting your head guide you might be new for many of you. If you haven't practiced head and neck isolations before, it's going to feel really weird at the very beginning. Because in everyday life we do exactly the opposite. We're unconsciously using our head to balance all movements created by the rest of the body. I'm going to guide you through an imagery exercise that will give you the sensation of what it's supposed to feel like. It's going to sound and feel funny. Actually, I'm quite excited where it's going to help you the way it helped me. I've never thought this before. But give it a try. The more you focus on visualizing the sensation, the faster you're going to get it. Because the head is quite heavy, up to 5 kilograms, and because of its high center of gravity related to the rest of the body, even the slightest shift from neutral position has a great impact on the entire body, on your balance and your movement control. Instead of thinking of your head as a static object perched on the top of your body, think of it as a guiding instrument. Your head is resting on top of a long mobile spine and is directing your spine and your whole body from the top down. Stand in front of the pole just in case you lose your balance and you need to hold on to something. Close your eyes, inhale deeply and on exhale visualize all the muscles of your shoulder melting down like butter or an ice cream. Then imagine the topmost vertebra of your neck to be a circular swimming ring that keeps your head floating easily on the top. As the water level rises, the ring floats upward carrying your head up and lengthening your neck and your spine. Now let the ring float in different directions and allow your completely relaxed body to follow without any voluntary effort. Feel how flexible your spine becomes and how it effortlessly reacts to the movement. Imagine that the waves become bigger and that they drift your head to the side, in circles, up and down. Create body waves without moving your body intentionally. Play with the sensation. Now you don't necessarily need to imagine the swimming ring when you're dancing, but this exercise will help you dance with your entire body and create transitions on the pole, which I'll show you in a second. But before you move to the pole, feel free to use my 15 minutes long warm-up routine. It's not a regular fitness warm-up, it contains dynamic flows that will help you soften your body and get confident in dancing. You can get it on thepoledancer.com slash flow warm-up. I've put the link in the description below. The first move from today's routine is a simple side switch with a half lip. Step and draw a circle on the floor with your outside leg until your knees get close to each other. Turn to the pole and shift your weight onto the other leg. Draw another circle to the back with the leg that's now in front of you. Keep your knees always slightly bent. Arms. Simply change arms when you switch sides. To transition to the next move, bring the first arm above your head and grab behind the pole in a cup grip. Head. Lean away from the pole and tilt your head to the side. Make a complete circle with your head during the turn. You should end tilted towards the pole. Although the legs are initiating the movement, feel how your head is leading and creating momentum during the turn. For the next transition, bring your inside leg behind the pole. Imagine that our swimming ring is floating on the other side of the pole and you're pulling your head through. Once you got the ring, the hips follow. The bottom hand switches on top and you're holding the pole in a strong hold grip. You can loop and practice this transition side to side. The next move is a fan kick which I won't explain in detail because most of you should know it well. You can make it smoother by keeping the upper body slightly to the back and using the momentum of the sliding leg to kick. The next move is called reaching behind the back transition. Grab the pole in front of your chest in a cup grip. Slide down your hand while turning with your back against the pole and reaching with the other hand to the other side. 
Keep your hips close to the pole and your upper body out. Release the first hand and continue turning in the same direction. Use your biceps to pull your chest back to the pole and grab with the other hand in a strong hold grip. Lean back. Here are some cues to make it easy and prettier. Bend your knees when you're turning. Keep your head and upper body tilted to the side. First left ear to the left shoulder, then right ear to the right shoulder. Turn the head movement into a half flip and sink it to the music. If you want to practice just this move, you can loop it forever. And ever. And ever. And enough. Make sure it's your inside leg that's elevated when you're leaning back. Drop it firmly down and back to come up and to turn halfway. Spin to the back, reach with your outside hand to grab the pole and slide down onto your shin. Try it a few more times but let the head initiate and lead the movement. When you land on the floor, bring the back leg forward into a lunge position and release your arms. To stand up, push your hips forward and shift your weight entirely onto the front leg. Change arms and bring both legs together. Keep your head down when you straighten the legs and then bring your upper body up. Feel free to continue freestyling and exploring head movements further, or your own movement. As you practice the whole routine, once you know the moves, forget about the mirror. It will only interrupt your natural lines. Instead, focus on the sensation. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Again, you can find my flow warm-up routine on thepowdance.com slash flow warm-up. The link is in the description below this video. Now I'm really curious to hear from you. How did that feel? Did the visualization exercise help you understand and feel the movement better? Could you keep that feeling on the pole as well? Let me know in the comments. In the next video, we are going to focus on my favorite body part, the chest. I'll show you isolation exercises and we put some cool moves together into a routine. Don't miss it. Sign up to my email list on thepowdancer.com and follow me on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook.